Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. As you already know, today's technology is evolving at exponential scale from AI to virtual reality, electric vehicles to machine learning, and even you must have heard about ChatGPT, which has been trained such that it can solve any puzzle, any problem, or any bug depending upon its pre training. So, the core base of this technology is semiconductors, and precisely if we say it is VLSI domain under semiconductors. There are plenty of semiconductor companies in the world like Qualcomm, Nvidia, AMD, Google, etc. Since we are talking about the technology evolution, so it also brings various job opportunities in the market for the VLSI aspirants. But current scenario as you know is that global economy is under recession. So plenty of job loss is there. Companies are not able to perform well due to COVID-19 and Russia-Ukraine war. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about four of the top semiconductor companies. Basically, we are looking over that how these companies have performed in the previous year 2022. We are going to discuss about their latest products, their revenue, it means their total sales, their profit or net income. And it is really important to discuss about financials of companies because financials are the only factors which let us know about the growth of the company. We can also predict whether the company can lay off its employees in near future or not every company is a business so to have knowledge about their business is really really crucial before joining them you have seen that intel has laid off several thousand employees so why they are doing that if we are able to know the financials of the company if we are able to understand that uh, why the companies are in loss and how much revenue they have generated so with this we can predict their future and with this we can also say that whether the company is growing or not growing so it is important to have the financial knowledge of the companies so we are going to cover four companies, Intel, Qualcomm, Apple and AMD. I am Jashan and let's start the today's video discussion. So we have our first company, Intel. Intel is an American MNC headquartered in California. It is world's second largest semiconductor chip manufacturer by revenue after TSMC. It is the supplier of microprocessor for computer system manufacturers. So if we see their previous year performance, that is 2022 performance, they have generated their revenue of US dollar 63.1 billion dollars. So it is 20% lesser than the previous previous year that is 2021 and it was 79 US billion dollars. Now if we talk about their profit uh, or we can say their net income. So they have generated their net income in 2022 that is 8 billion US dollars and it was 19.9 billion dollars in the year 2021. So in the year 2022 they have reduced their uh, profit by 60% which is huge now when we see their products uh, like their latest products in the current market scenario so they have their intel 7 is in high volume manufacturing intel 7 means their 10 nanometer chip manufacturing so they have their intel 7 in high volume manufacturing and after that they have their intel 4 which means 7 nanometer chip and they have uh, their 7 nanometer chip uh, in manufacturing ready for meteor lake processor which is expected to be in second half of 2023. Meteor Lake processor is system in package consists of four tiles. Basically those are CPU core tile, graphics tile produced by TSMC with N3 or N5 node. Basically N3 and N5 are 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer node respectively. And another tiles are SOC tile and input output tile. Now, now if we discuss about Intel's different business units, they have several business units, uh, namely client computing group, data center and AI, network and edge, mobile eye, accelerated computing systems and graphics which is for GPUs and Intel Foundry services, IFS that is they have their own fab facility to produce their own chips and have their chip manufactured and assembled for the market. Now the final business unit that is Intel Foundry services. This unit has produced a revenue of 0.9 billion dollars which is 14% up than the year 2021. So this is all about the company Intel. Now we are moving forward to the next company that is Qualcomm. 